Hey YouTube, this week I went to the store and I found this uh, gadget. It's a window, um, cheap window alarm um, gadget. You stick it on a window and then if uh, some, some, someone is messing with the window it will detect the vibrations and then it will set off an alarm. Like that. And uh, we're not going to repeat this because it's uh, really loud. Uh, but in any case, um, I bought it just to see how um, how it works and understand myself how how it would detect the vibrations on a window and how it, it would set off the alarm and I ended up um, redrawing the whole circuit and uh, uh, fiddling around with it and then I had this idea so I, I thought I would share it um, before that yeah you saw how how it works and here's the packaging you can see you just stick it on a window and then if uh, if, if someone tries to break in or anything and causes the window to vibrate then it sets off this alarm it cost me one and a half uh, euro so it was very cheap and I was curious just to see how how it works um, for that price yeah one and a half euros that's that's not really um, a lot but um, I don't need to do that um, I ended up taking it apart, as I said, and making a, a schematics for it, and I took a bunch of pictures, which you're going to see um, pretty soon. But it's a nice circuit, to, just to understand how it works, and um, I, I will make a video uh, showing how to build the circuit step by step once I have um, a budget for ink for my printer. But uh, this in this video, we're just going to see exactly how this uh, this sensor works. So here, here we have the piezo element. It's right here, and uh, as you can see, if I set it on and then I just tap the element, it sets off the alarm. Um, what else we have on this uh, board? We have first of all this uh, capacitor, this electrolytic capacitor. It's um, it's a hundred uh, microfarads. And uh, here we have a coil. Um, this coil will be used to um, give voltage to the ACE, uh, to the piezo element, so that it uh, makes the alarm. It will receive a signal here, and then from from the primary, and it will go to the secondary, and that produces an AC um, signal for the for the piezo element. Um, a microcontroller, it has no name, nothing on it, so we know it's a, it's a microcontroller of some sort. Um, here we have just the, the positive goes in here, we have the switch, and that goes into this um, PNP transistor. And the PNP transistor will receive the vibration when, um, when the piezo element um, uh, vibrates, it will produce voltage, this voltage will go to ground and it will pull this uh, little PNP transistor uh, it will pull the base to ground and that will allow a signal to pass through to pin number 7 on this microcontroller and that will trigger the, the alarm and the alarm is just uh, going through this um, uh, the, the, the pin 5 which produces a square wave and um, it will go through this transistor and NPN transistor and it will cause induction here in the coil and then that causes the alarm and there is also PWM in here and that makes the alarm sound um, going higher and, uh, and lower but that's it that's uh, that's the circuit I, um, I did some measurements just to see the signals that are coming in and going out and uh, you will see them um, right here in the video. I will leave space for it. There is first uh, um, the input signal. So you will see what um, basically happens when I tap the piezo element and uh, which signal, which input comes into pin number seven here on this little microcontroller. And um, also the output um, uh, square wave that then comes when the alarm is triggered and comes out of pin number five so that um, that was it about the circuit and uh, about how it works so again once uh, the 
piezo element detects vibrations, it lowers the base of this PNP that triggers the microcontroller and that sets off the alarm. That's nice. So I, as I said, I made a circuit for it and uh, you can see it uh, right here or you already saw it, depends where I'm going to stick it in the video. <coughs> But what I'm, what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to pause this video and uh, I'm going to remove this piezo uh, unit here and I'm going to set it on my own circuit which is based on this exact same circuit which, uh, which I just um, um, reversed engineered and, uh, and retraced and um, we're going to see how it works just with, uh, with our own circuit. So I'll be right back. Okay, so um, we're back and um, here's the circuit that I've built and it's based on the exact same uh, circuit that you saw in the, in, the, in the thing itself. I don't have it, do I? No, I don't have it here, it's on the other table. But um, this is the exact same circuit and here um, you will see the, the schematic. So um, we have the, the microcontroller which I just used an 80 mega. I used the crystal because the 80 mega was already, um, the fuses were already set, I didn't want to change it, but it doesn't have anything to do with, uh, with the original circuit. Um, here we have the, the circuit that will provide the input uh, signal. So we have the piezo element here and it goes through this uh, C1. 100 nanofarad uh, capacitor I use. You can't really recognize them on the um, a tiny SOT package, but uh, I just guessed and um, yeah, it works okay. Um, the PNP transistor just used the 3906. Uh, um, just like in the circuit, the original circuit itself, here we have R1, which is 100k, and uh, we have R2, which is 3.3 uh, mega. <coughs> ohms. Um, R3 again 100k and it's used to pull down the pin on the, the microcontroller. Don't, I just stuck to the original circuit but um, it can be lower than that. I don't think you need 100k on it. And here in the middle a 68 nanofarad capacitor. Again I made a guess um, and um, it works okay. So uh, this uh, circuit will uh, cause a signal to come into the a5 pin of the 80 mega, the analog input, and I place some code in it that detects it. And if it's above 20 on the, the just the integer value that comes in, then uh, it will send a sense signal. So we can see this lamp go on and off when we're tapping it. And then there's also a trigger for the alarm. So we can tap it but <clears throat> just like the original circuit we don't want it to be triggered just by uh, by anything um, so we have a sort certain uh, um, um, set, uh, set uh, limit that will it go it will go off I just added this LED for example it has nothing to do with the original circuit it will just show us tapping on this uh, the piezo element and here uh, the coil, I just use a toroid, uh, it will produce a lower sound because there are less windings on the secondary. This is a, a BC547 um, uh, uh, that I used. You can also use a 3904, doesn't really matter. A 2K transistor for R4 and um, that's it, the C3 capacitor that will take the when, once the, the coil uh, discharges. So um, ju let's just see how it works. I'm going to set it on and uh, I'm going to set the, the reset on the microcontroller. So just like uh, the original um, circuit, if I tap it, I don't know if you can see it, but the, the LED is sort of like when it detects a, a certain tap, then it will uh, go off. And then there is a verge that if I really want to, if, if I really tap it, let's say to break a window, then it triggers the alarm. I hope that you can hear it. I don't, didn't have a, a, another coil to use with more windings to make the sound um, louder. But 
you get the point or reset it and again I can tap it and if I tap it really hard then it will trigger the alarm so yeah that's uh, that's it there you have it a cheap um, one and a half euro window alarm gadget um, re rebuilt here on a breadboard hope you liked it and uh, thank you for watching I'll see you next time